we're going to put a pump seal in. So if your pump's been uh, leaking through here, this area here, spraying up, you'll see white marks on the front and back here. Um, all in here, crusty stuff back in here. And, but if you can see it too, leaking out, uh, obviously uh, you're here for a reason, you want to see the pump seal. So I'm going to give you the best way for any pump. Okay, so the steps I'm going to take, it's, it's pretty much the same. But every situation is going to be different. I can't show you exactly what your pump's going to do because every time I go out, um, it's new all the time. Like, a, you know, I'm doing it out in the field. So it's not like I have a shop or anything like that um, at a customer's house. Um, I got to use what I have. Um, so I'll show you the best way of doing it for any hot tub pump. Okay. Um, but I'll kind of very quickly just pay attention to what applies to your pump but basically it's the same so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the front off so any pump you have you're gonna have to take the front off uh, these ones had screws I already took them off because it takes a while to take them all off I didn't want to bore you on the video so some of them have bolts through the through the wet head so we took the screws off already just make sure when you do take if you have screws make sure you have the bit even if it's the bolts, make sure you have the proper tools to take it off because for the screws, these screws will strip very easy um, if it's not in there right or if you're not holding the drill in properly, if you're not putting it in there properly. So I've already taken the screws off, so here we go. Take the front off. So you can also take a picture of the front uh, plate and where it's positioned. So here it's up, the discharge is up, suction is obviously in the front. So you can take a picture of this before you start taking it apart so you know how to assemble it back. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a screwdriver, a slotted screwdriver, small one, and you're going to get in between, and you don't have to bang it hard, you just have to kind of, on an angle, just slip it in there a bit. So once you get it in there, all you do is you're twisting it, you're twisting it right along. The best place to twist it off is right where the screws are. There's a little bit more uh, meat there, it's thicker. So just go around, do that. Some pumps are really hard. This is a brand new pump, so it's pretty easy. So just pop it off. And then put that to the side. Then inside, same thing. Take a picture of it, because this might be different than yours in how it sits in there, okay? So this part, this piece here, all it is is when this goes back on, um, so there's no little gap in there once that goes together. So you feel, if you take this off, you'll feel when you put that back in, there's kind of a little gap in there. It really doesn't make that much of a noticeable difference. But if you haven't put it in, if it breaks or anything like that, don't worry about it. Put this back. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. There's not that much of a big gap in there that you're going to notice the flow issue. Okay? So what we're going to do with this particular one, uh, your, your uh, pump might have a piece in the back where you can kind of un undo the there's like a plastic piece or a metal piece you can take it off and you'll see a slot in there for you can put a screwdriver to hold when you take the impeller off this particular one you can't do it this is executive 56 so this particular one you can't do it so we're gonna have to go and put a vice grip right on the side here so we're kind of lucky that we can't see the impeller uh, shaft the plastic shaft the sleeve that goes on there we can't see a lot of times you'll see it and um, most times it's all cracked anyway. There's a reason why you're taking it off. Um, so you're gonna end up probably breaking the impeller or, or breaking it or destroying something anyway, the impeller. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some vice grips on there. Now there's some pumps out there that you can't do this. Because it's all enclosed, it's all enclosed right up to here. Like it's all, this is all enclosed. You can't even get into there. So, um, yeah, how do you do that if you have that style? Well, in here, you can see the fans. Now, most of them are plastic. Now, I have broken them off, uh, which is not good to do. Um, you can kind of put it in there to kind of stop it, but you can break it off. But I've put several screwdrivers and sides, and I've put a whole bunch of them in there, so it takes doesn't really take that strain. Or a screwdriver in the back to hold it, if you, if, you're, if you have that type of pump, where you can kind of hold it when you're undoing this. 
But this style here, we're gonna use the vice grips because we can. So like I said, eat, there's so many different pumps out there, so many this is the situations. But the main thing is, this shaft, you're gonna have to try to stop it from moving without breaking anything else. So it goes from the back to the front, this back we can't get to, but somehow secure it. Then we can get to the front. So try first with your hands, okay? This one here I know I'm gonna get off, okay? But if you can't get it off, you, just, you get yourself a big wrench. Uh, it doesn't have to be this particular one. This one is for a taking a filter off for your car because it kind of has an angle on there and I, it's hard to go straight. So you can go on an angle a bit and you grab the front and you can twist it off that way. Okay, just keep on twisting it off. Now if it breaks, now if it breaks you can get, and it's counterclockwise, it goes this way, counterclockwise. So if it breaks, then what you can do is try to catch, get the, so the top and bottom of it and then twist the brake, go this way, off. Now this is going to prevent it from, it's going to hold that shaft. So again, it's supporting that shaft. Okay. So we're going to do that. Just get the impeller off. If it breaks, you somehow you're going to have to get it off, break this piece off. Um, there's a trick for it. Once I get it, this impeller off, I'll show you. Now, if you can't get this impeller off as easy as I just did, what you're going to have to do is inside there, you can see that blue mark. Most of them don't have it. Yours might be different. Yours might have like a little nipple. What you're going to do is take a small uh, drill bit and just drill around it. Drill, 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 drill. A bunch of little holes right around it. What you, what you're supposed to do, or what you're wanting to do, is you want to break that off that main shaft, because there's a little uh, brass screw-in piece there, and it looks similar to this, and that's what it looks like in there. And if you can get a socket on there after you break that off, that's how how we can get it off easier. So you just screw around there, and then you try to break it off. You can use a sl um, slotted screwdriver and kind of pound around it, but you got to be careful because that nut, you don't want to screw it too much because there's a threaded rod. The threads are right there. You don't want to damage it too much or you're going to have to try to re-thread that. Okay, so we got the impeller off. Take that off. So what we're going to do again, take a picture of this where it's, how are you going to put it back together? Now there's four screws in the back. One, two, three, and four. Four, right on the bottom. So do, do not use a drill on this. So just do it by hand. You can use a, a socket, whatever. Do not use the drill. The reason why I say don't use the drill, you'll see it all over YouTube that guys are doing the pumps like this with the, with the drill. Now these are long bolts and they go into the wet head over here. Now years ago I used to use the drill up until I broke two of those rods, two different customers rods. I actually broke the thread right inside of it and, the, and pretty much pooched it. I needed the, I had to find the rod for it and I had to get a new wet head. So it's better to go by, by hand because if it, you could feel it if there's any uh, give. You kind of go back and forth or try to get some, uh, you know, get some uh, WD-40 in there or something in there. Now, it doesn't happen very often. It's, you know, in 20 years, I've had, what, two, two of them break, and that was it. So don't pull these out all the way, okay? Keep those in. So you'll know if, oh, no, there's got to be another one that's touched. So once you get all of them off, Pull that off. Okay. So most of the this is a brand new uh, pump, so most of them they'll have where it's all rusty right here. So clean, clean that all up. Now the shaft is this is straight. Yours might be kind of bowed a bit, like this. Once you clean it all off, now it's just from the water and chemicals eating away at the steel here. So it's thinned it all out. So you really got to watch this um, from bending it at all or you need a new pump. Um, you might get a few, if you get it, keep it straight and don't really bang it around too much, you might be able to get a couple years out of it. 
Um, just because the shaft's getting way too thin, the impeller will just break right off. Okay, so right now where it's, it's a brand new one, so I'll show you how to do the seal. So this particular seal, I'm not gonna take it out, but if you have to take it out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bang out the back side of it. You're gonna bang out right there. You don't have to use a hammer, you don't have to do hard. You just put on an angle like that, and you just kinda of bang it down. Okay, and that will pop out, clean up all inside there for this particular one. For the impeller, now this style here, it actually goes right inside. This is what it looks like. Most of the time they sit right on top. Um, this side, it's going to be hard to really get it off, but more than likely if you're taking the impeller off, it's not going to look this good, this clean. Uh, these, there's probably going to be cracks in it, so most of the time you don't even have to worry about that because you're getting a new impeller anyway. So you just got to make sure you get the proper uh, seal for it. Now there's so many pumps out there, so many impellers, I'm just giving you the basics how to do the seal. Now for this particular one, this is the seal for this end. Now yours might be opposite. Your, you might have the spring on this side and then this part in there. Now, it's the same idea, you know, vice versa, and you're doing the same thing. Now, on the wet end, now if it's this, you don't have to put, this, put any silicone on it, either one. Whenever this goes in, don't worry about silicone. Now, the other side, if, this, if you have this style, and it goes into here, there's a little lip right around the edge there. What I like to do, now when they manufacture, they don't put no silicone in there. And then that's where it leaks through there. So what I like to do is grab yourself some silicone. Um, this style, this stuff's awesome. You know, what I like to do is 100, 100% silicone. <clears throat> the better stuff, I actually use the white stuff for pools. I can use it underwater. Now you just put, put a light bead all the way around, right in the top of that groove. Put a light bead all the way around. And then you take that, once that your old one's out, you push it in there. Now it's going to be a little tight, you're going to have to push it down a bit. So what I do is I just, by hand, I push it down. And once you get it down there, I just use a screwdriver and just tap on either side because it's going to go on an angle. So if you tap both sides, it just goes down, 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 just tap around, tap around, and then it will just work its way down. And then when you feel it, you'll feel it's a little tight and just kind of tap, tap, tap all the way around. Try to stay on, on the edge here. And once you get it down all the way around, just go on the back side of it. You'll see silicone all inside there. Well, you should. If you don't, no big deal. You didn't put enough silicone, but it's okay. Just wipe off the excess uh, silicone and you're good to go for that anyway. And then you put that aside and then you get your new impeller. Now, if it's broken <clears throat> and you're not sure what impeller you need, you can get all the information off your pump. Now there's model number, there's the model number right there. So any pump you have, this applies to any pump, any hot tub pump. So there's your model number, get your model number. If you don't have a sticker, see if, uh, you know, you can put that on Amazon, that number, you can put it online, it will come up that model number. Now that's, that's just for this particular pump. And then you'll find that you'll find like two horsepower, three horsepower, four horsepower. Now, most of them have four horsepower on here, but after a while, you'll just see the sticker. You can't even, you, do, you can't see four horsepower. So, it might be a three or a four. Three or four will fit in there anyway. But the good way to find it is there's a, where we go here, right there. There's your part number right there, if you can see it. Some of them get worn off after a while. Now you got to. Sometimes they're inside here. Sometimes they're in the back. Sometimes they'll have one impeller. Waterway used to have them, where they would have all the codes around here. Would like have one horsepower, then the code, two horsepower, then the code, so on, so on. And then you had to assume that I just go by the thick or the the width of of what this is. So it's four horsepower, and then the little skinnier three horsepower, a little skinny, skinny. Like one horsepower is like. You know barely anything so here it's four horsepower so you get your new uh 
new impeller if you need one or you just change your uh, part of your seal and you put it back in and then now putting it all back together what I like to do is you clean make sure this is all cleaned off and then I use a uh, it's in a gasket grease it's like a water repellent grease it's just for pools and spas and stuff it's, it's really good stuff I'll, I can link that in the bottom for you if you want uh, to put that on it's great because you can put it all in here and it helps the impeller especially if it's kind of it's it's warped a bit so you I just gooped the heck out of it I just put a lot of it right in there and then I put everything back so if you don't remember how everything goes back just go by with the pictures just take some pictures and there you go so you line that up now I'm not going to screw everything all back in I'm just going to do this for your video just you'll sit in there nice and get what you do is you get one going and you can feel it grab so you feel that one grab then go to the opposite corner and then make sure that one grabs see this one's not grabbing so you can move it around okay once that one grabs same thing go this one okay feel that one grab okay move it around Okay, when you when you get them all tight, you don't have to use any tools like wrenches or anything like that. So just do it, just snug. That is it. You don't need to, uh, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger it on there or anything. So assume that I just tighten them all up. Okay, so it's all done. So now your impeller. So your brand new impeller, brand new seal. If you need a new impeller, but you got to put it all back. I'm gonna screw it back on. Now we're gonna do the same thing, whatever way you did it, either a screwdriver in the back or ever how you you supported the inside that shaft from moving. I'm gonna put that light scripts back on this dial. So good. Do it by hand, everything by hand here, so you can feel it. So here you, again, you just go tight. Then there you go, and then uh, this is what it's like. There's their, that is the impeller side for this style of pump, and then that's the back part. So it'll go back, you'll screw on, yeah, here we go, you'll screw on, and then when you tighten it, it's all a little spring on it. So it just goes right against it, and that's it, and then having a silicone there helps it even more. So when it spins, it just spins on top of that. I don't know what kind of material that is, it's almost like a... Oh, glass type. I forget the. I don't know what kind of material it is, but works well. Okay. Then a little hot if you have it. If you don't, if it broke, or if it's really wobbly in there, like really wobbly and stuff, it's gonna annoy you. You're gonna hear it rattling inside there. Um, it's just because it's worn down after a while. It's plastic. So either you can get a new one, or you can try to put this back on and see how much of it's a, if it's a gap. If it's really small, I wouldn't worry about it. But here I have it, it's a brand new pump. I'm gonna put it back. And then, just remember, again by pictures, but I remember that this is on my on the bottom here, okay? So you line that up. Now also, there's a little groove in there. Then there's a groove here. So you just gotta line all that up. Line the holes up, line the groove up. Now if you're, if you have an older style, See, there's, this is all grease too. So the same grease that we were talking about for the back here, we can put it right here. Put some grease here. Now, what I would suggest if your pump's old, older, not new, uh, to make you feel better, is that uh, you can put a little bit of grease here on this gasket so it just slips in better. Also, what you can do is right in that corner, all the way around, just put a, a bead all around, a bead of silicone right in there. Just an extra protection there because I would, I do it, I put it back together, old pumps, I put it back together, get the water all going, and then I have a leak in between the seals here when I when I close it back up. Then you gotta tear it all apart, then put silicone. So if you feel like you have an older older style, just put the silicone there anyway. So here we're gonna push it in. Make sure all those holes line up. So 
you put the screws back in. Again, when you put the screws in, put one screw here and go back and forth. So one here, one here, then one here, then one here, one here, one here. So I just put them all in, all at once anyway. So make sure you have the good bit too. And don't screw it in all the way yet. Because we're gonna do it all by hand. Just so you can feel everything. So everything's all by hand. So you do that all the way around, all the way around. Just if you have to use a drill or just do it by hand. Just drill in a little bit. And then when you when go around and just give it a little tweak. And you don't have to do it really tight. It's just a little snug and you do that all the way around. Once it's snug, it's snug. I'll finish that after, but if you've liked this video, subscribe, like, share, and if you want any other videos, um, if you have a particular pump or um, anything, uh, just put it in the comments below, um, anything I can help you with. Uh, it's great, if you want any information on this, um, just send me a message. I can't really link any parts and stuff like that to it because the chance of somebody having it on YouTube is, is pretty slim. There's so there's thousands of pumps, thousands of parts. Um, I, I'll link the um, I'll link the, the grease for it that you can use on any pump.